This is the channel where we learn from some of your favorite artists. My name is Liza Quinn. If you clicked on this thumbnail, you're probably familiar with Nightwish, but this is a first listen to me. This band was brought to my attention by my followers, so thank you guys so much. I'm new to reacting and breaking down and analyzing these types of performances because I don't have a lot of experience with the genre. I haven't worked with metal bands. This is a Finnish symphonic metal band, for those of you who don't know. Stick around to the end and we'll summarize some takeaways from watching this performance for the first time. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, let's digest some of this, just first impression. I knew obviously this was gonna be epic. Symphonic metal band, right? The arrangement were going to be, was gonna be huge and complex and haunting and beautiful and it's all of those things. The crowd obviously is such a rush. <laughs> like being there live must be incredible. Just like the rumble in your chest. <laughs> I can, I just like imagining it from here with a, what it must sound like in the house. First of all, this organ, I mean, what an impression that leaves. That's incredible. There he is. <laughs> I mean, Wow. When this dynamic shift happens and it's just like a goddess has entered the room. What I find so beautiful about this is the juxtaposition of her seemingly classically trained voice over the intensity of the metal. Now obviously I I mean that's the beauty of a symphonic metal band, right? Those those two worlds kind of coming together so beautifully that it's really 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 captivating. Let's go ahead and pick it up from about here. <laughs> That's a more classical shape, we'll talk about that after. Silent from the deep came to me and sang my name. shift there. So basically when you get into these upper notes like right about here right what makes it feel more classical is just the shape. So instead of ah, 
not this kind of like really rock kind of angular eh, pharyngeal sound. It's rounded, so it'll be a more of a lift in the soft palate. Ah! You're giving more space for that sort of oscillation. But then she changes the shape later right about here, which I think is very cool because it's really, really painting with different colors. You know, not to get too abstract. So cinematic here, right? I like I just like got lost like visualizing all these things. Sharper there in, in terms of the shape, right? Not not the pitch. The pitch is perfect. But in terms of that, ow! Right? It's a little bit more there instead of ooh. Those kind of kinds of shapes that she was giving at the beginning. There's a shift in the dynamic. They provide all these images and all these feelings, all these emotions. They're able to kind of give you so much in one musical piece. Feeling it. I've been loving Ow, Mega Morph no, for the last two no. years. That was an ad break. Sorry, here we go.
they've just taken me like weaved me through all these different feelings so many sides to it i've got to say really quick what a rush like as a backup singer in bands that have toured i played venues like that with those bands and that feeling of when that whole crowd is in there with you just ah, yeah Oh, just like screaming and and as the front person you got them kind of like right there in the palm of your hand that feeling is really hard to match i love how she adds that rasp in the middle we'll talk more about that and i love how that is oh, oh. it's an like operatic there in the middle with those hits i mean it's a film Five. Ah, but the power that she has up there is absolutely stunning. What a rush. If you watch this again, I want you to pay attention to a couple things, especially those of you that are looking to learn from them. Aside from the overall performance, which was dynamic and engaging as long as it was, 10 minutes and 22 seconds is a task in itself. So kind of paying attention to the various ways that they do that visually from an audio perspective and arrangement perspective, I think is important. The lead singer is also someone we can learn a lot from. When she switches styles, ah! She had just come out of like a like a round shape. I want you to pay attention to her body language, how her face relaxes during the classical shapes, even the way she stands. And then when she goes into her rock mode and she kind of, you'll notice that she goes, it's this freedom that she's giving it this wow. Then she switches to kind of holding out these long kind of classical shapes where that's an exercise in air control. So pay attention how she stays inflated. She's not squeezing. It's this like beautiful control. Her body language, her posture, not only is it aiding with the singing technically, but it's really enthralling because she seems like I'm in charge of my space. This is where I dominate. But as a performer, when you can admit that, you really create this sense of like, ooh, the light. <laughs> just kind of drawn to this person. Well, what are your thoughts? Comment them below. And as always, I'm so open to your suggestions. Thank you all so much for sticking around. I am gonna have some more videos pop up over my shoulder, but before I go, if you liked my dress, <laughs> I know you couldn't see it, but you can rent it at thelimitlesscloset.com. Make sure you check it out. Link is in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye.